So as I've seen the last video really blew up, we got like around 2k views as of time I'm filming this and I decided to make a part 2. So I got some suggestions what to add and today we're going to add an overhead GUI that shows you the time and if the player is AFK. If you didn't watch the video before, make sure to watch it because all the important scripts are in it and also join the discord down below where you can find some free assets and other cool stuff or get help with the scripts, play my games and also get notified when I upload. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, actually go to server script service, then the AFK handler we made before, and then uh, on the line 22, press enter and type this. So you can actually go one below local total time equals zero, and while AFK status. And these blocky brackets player equals true do. So what we're we'll going to make this is uh, count it. So I will just put a print to total time so we can actually see that it works. Wait one and then total time equals total time plus one. Okay. So now if we test this, obviously make sure to have the output open. Okay, so now I think this is going a bit weird because I have the output open, but in the normal game it should work um, as it should. So yeah, as you can see, if we press here, it uh, triggers that we are AFK and then it counts. Okay. So now we need to make a GUI for it. So I can close this now. So now we need to make a part and inside of this part insert billboard GUI. Okay, so now we need to make a part and inside of this part insert the billboard GUI which is going to be GUI that's um, over our head and insert a text label. You can name it counter because it will have time and actually yeah we can just leave it like that. So now go to the billboard GUI and then studs offset. On the Y scale we put, uh, we can actually put maybe two, yeah that's okay, and max distance maybe 50, so yeah, um, we can also put always on top, and you can also put, so maybe two comma 0, 1, 2, let's see. Okay, so that stays like this. And here, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so now we have this text that always stays the same size. You can actually put the text uh, scaled. So that's how you make it always the same size so it doesn't get larger as we go away. And we could actually resize this a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we can also, okay, not that. We can make the background transparent, make the text white, or you can actually customize it uh, with whatever you want. I will add a stroke and now go to the actual text and delete this. We don't need that. Put this billboard GUI inside of the server storage, and now you can delete this part. We will update the script so every time the player goes AFK, we uh, make him get the billboard UI and it starts counting. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the UI. So local UI equals game get source storage and then billboard UI. 
or you can put uh, instead of this where you want to put it so maybe a replicated storage or something like that i don't know okay so now here um first we need to july clone or actually it should be local clone equals july clone and clone that's parent equals player not character Fine, first child, and then put head inside of this. So now, uh, if the player goes AFK, it puts the GUI above his head, and then we can say, um, well, so while player is AFK, hello, um, dot counter dot text equals total time so we put the total time so now let's test this okay so i am in the game okay yeah and as you can see we have the total counter we just need to make it uh, so that it goes away and we also need to fix this uh, i don't know why accessories sometimes glitch so i will fix that okay and then after this we can do clone destroy so we don't need it anymore so we'll just destroy it so it's counting up then it destroys it when we are not afk anymore also what we can put is um, space and then um, maybe afk and then we can put this two dots and then write total time so what this makes is basically just to say it afk and then total time actually modify this a bit okay so like this so the total time will be inside of these brackets this looks uh, a bit better okay so now we'll just update the part with the accessories and make it easier um, so let's see what we don't need so we can actually uh, delete this whole thing stuff here and okay, we can leave that we can also delete this and we can also delete this last part okay so if is a part and so that will put base part then we can also remove this then it just creates a force field and we could actually make this in that material dot force field and then we can just copy this put it here and make this sign so now if we test this it should work Okay, so seems I missed something. Okay, let's try it. Get the sentence. Copy it, put it here. Okay, yeah. So that, that was what's the problem. So now it gets the all the sentences inside of this character. And if we go AFK, it uh, makes the character force field and it counts the the how the amount of time we are AFK. 
Okay, but now we should probably uh, format the time because for now it's just counting, so we don't know actually how much it is. Like if a player is AFK for like 2000 seconds, obviously you can calculate it in your head probably, but let's just make it easier to read. Okay, so now how do we format the time actually? So first of all, let's make local format time because function and here we can put seconds. Okay, so local um, don't, it probably wouldn't be AFK for hours because the Roblox automatically kicks you, but we'll still do it. Hours is mat.floor. Then in here, uh, with seconds, slash, this, and then local units, equals mat.floor again. And here we can, uh, we also need to put seconds. Oh, actually, my bad, I forgot uh, another set of brackets, so seconds, this time put percent sign, symbol, and now again the same number, and then by 16. Okay, local, remain seconds, equals seconds, percent 60. And then we need to return it, so string dot format, and then now uh, this will be a bit complicated, so type uh, percent 0 to d, then again percentage 0 to d, uh, again percentage 0 to d, and then put comma hours, minutes, and remaining seconds okay so now this should make like a normal uh, real life count counter and in here you just need to change format time inside of these brackets put total time so now this should work as we uh, we want it to work so let's see right here and yeah, as you can see, it works. We could actually just get rid of the hours because you can really be AFK uh, for more than 20 minutes because you'll just get automatically kicked from the game. So we can delete this, delete this part, and delete this part. Okay. So now we should only have seconds and minutes. So yeah, as you can see, it counts the seconds. And then uh, I won't wait for like that long, but it should work. And yeah, that's it. So that's how you make an AFK GUI. And we could actually resize it a bit. So I go to here and we put it to 4. So I go to the local script that we made before. And inside of here, I maybe put fast that wait. So like maybe 5 seconds. Because we don't want to make a player AFK every time he's just like in some other window for a few seconds. You can also extend this. I will put it to 5 seconds just for the testing purpose. And now when we are here, we click on the side of the window. And as you can see we go AFK and it gives us the timer and it's counting up. And again if we click here, uh, we are ourselves again and it removes the timer so yeah that's basically it how you make an afk overhead gui thanks for watching